everyone's favorite black company, Niji Sanji, English branch, has terminated Sela, not with one page document, which is usually a Twitter statement. They came out with three pages. This company is in a fucking dumpster fire in terms of their brand reputation. Let's see what happened. All right, bro. I'm not even gonna make this a fully edited thing or put too much effort into this video. All I right. just needed to address this. But Salen has been terminated from Nijisanji. Now, I am kind of an orbiter in terms of VTubers. Like, I'm a weeb, but I don't really know that much about VTuber culture. But I am aware of, you know, different organizations like Nijisanji and their treatment towards their talents. I think, um... The drama is kind of all started back in the, not last December, but the December before that with Zion, right? And I believe a whole document was that I read all that shit. And ever since then, there has been rumors about you know, how poorly they manage their talent, about how the shotgun style is really poor in terms of having new management coming in that don't know how to really handle their new talents, leading to really annoying situations. And even now, right, after what? We just had Kyo graduate just like a couple days ago. Salen, she's been just silent, right? It went radio silent ever since that drama with them privating her music video that she spent 15k on. And now they come up with this shit saying, holy shit, she's terminated. Not one page, three pages. Might be a good thing to you, might be a bad thing, but regardless, in this industry, even the most ridiculous rumors are possibly true. And special shout out to the wary Salen hashtag on Twitter, Dragoons knew their assignment, brother. I have a feeling that the revolt played a part in the crafting and posting okay. of this statement. And please. So Dragoons are obviously Solen's like actual like that's what her fan you know group is called as right. So they have a lot of good su support, but like man, Don't this is send crazy. Any harassment or death threats to any of the livers, but let's get this shit over with. It is with regret that we've had to terminate. <laughs> ah yada yada yada. Corp blah blah. Regret my ass. Bullshit. Copy and state. Co this shit's always fucking copy pasted in, right? Let's speak about how they're sorry things had to end this way. But Salen Tatsuki, due to multiple breaches of contract and- I'm surprised they actually copy-pasted this part correctly because on Kyo's fucking Twitter statement, dude, their official Twitter statement, they fucked up this graduation date. I'm surprised this doesn't say fucking Zion Lily right now, bro, from the last termination statement. Misleading statements on social platforms is terminated. We have provided a detailed explanation of the circumstances and reasons that have unfortunately led us to this conclusion. Okay. Have to say though, from the get-go, this is already better worded than the Zion statement so far. Keyword, keyword there is being so far. Now, okay. this is basically just a massive wall of text as to how they have rules and the rules are designed to protect the company and talents, but here. Violations of Salen Tatsuki and activity rules. Despite our efforts to uphold these rules, Salen has repeatedly violated activity like rules what? since joining Niji EN in July of 2021, meaning that she's been doing it for a while now. Her I think one of the things, e even Lily Pichu made like a tweet yesterday. I, I think that one of the things that Niji Sanji is trying to hold up against Selen is the fact that Lily Pichu's song was used in one of her content with consent. Lily even made a tweet saying like, I'm fine with it. But they're trying to use that to like antagonize Selen, right? Actions encompasses a wide range of issues such as non-compliance with rights, confirmation, and authority flows. This is probably referring to apparently her unable to obtain the rights for the last cup of coffee. Okay. which could potentially lead to infringement of third-party rights. The violations also include unauthorized usage of works and assets belonging to affiliated to others affiliated with any color, disregarding the intentions of these parties as well as a lack of communication with creators, resulting in delay of Selen's commission payments to creators. What I gather here is that Selen, yeah. according to any color, has a bad sense of red tape awareness. For the sake of her projects, she jumps the gun. And there has been cases... Honestly, that... Maybe true. Honestly, I don't know because like I, I truly don't like I don't follow her exact actions every step of the detail. Maybe she did fuck up, right? Maybe she did fuck up. I don't it's know. like these in the past with Niji Sanji. I think it was Zion where she thought she yeah. would have the rights to promote a fellow livers. And like, wasn't there like, she, she tried to use Zion, tried to use like uh, other people's like um, music videos and somehow that was like a breach of copyright or some shit. Song and played on stream. But then she got bonked because she yeah. didn't have the approval to play it. I forgot if it was Zion, but it was someone in Niji Sanji. As a company, we recognize that these violations of activity rules could damage that trust placed in Niji EN. We are also aware that such violations jeopardize the ongoing activities of other livers affiliated with any color. Furthermore, we had consistently issued warnings to Selen each time there was a violation. I feel like these violations are not jeopardizing the other activities of other livers. Like, these acti- like- the only thing that's jeopardizing these other livers is Niji Sanji's way of handling their fucking talent. These are such 
old draconic boomer rules that is so not flexible and so unreasonable. If other people are completely fine and gives consent on sharing their songs, it's like, what is the fucking problem? The activity rules. However, she had repeatedly disregarded these warnings, often failing to reciprocate communication with her man. I think that this is carefully worded legal PR talk carefully crafted to antagonize Selen based on these minor trivial things that could be handled with nuance, right? Managers. Additionally, Selen Tatsuki has repeatedly posted false or misleading information on social media. I have no clue about that. That might be true. Who knows? Insinuating that the violations of the activity rules were due to mismanagement by any color. In May 2023, we sent a notice to Selen Tatsuki stating that any further violations of the activity rules of engaging in false or misleading statements could damage their company's reputation okay. and result in the termination of the contracts. However, she has continued to violate activity rules. Such All as? the aforementioned circumstances on December 26, 2023, Selen posted a music video on the Selen Tatsuki channel without- That's the one where she spent 15k of her own money Right? She didn't get funded for this, her own fucking money to make the video, right? But apparently she, oh, I, I, I don't know. This is like he says or she says, I don't fucking know about the rules, but apparently she did get the clear from all the important per people that she was talking to in management, but then the video got private and got shut down. Not prior approval as, the requi as required by the rules. The materials of the music video were shared for the first time with our management on December really? 24th, since some elements on the music lacked proper authorization. Some elements in the music video. So again, we're nitpicking right now. Even if she was clear for the video overall in the beginning, say, can I make a music video with my own fucking money? And they're like, all right, you do your thing. Then they were picky about some, el what were the some elements? On December 25th, we communicated to Selen that permission needed to be obtained from the relevant parties. We're requesting, requesting her to wait before releasing it. Okay. Despite this, Selen disregarded the notice and proceeded with unauthorized posting. Our immediate response was to make the music video private until all authorizations were confirmed from our. The wording from their end makes it sound like this is possible, like all until all authorizations were confirmed from our end. As in like, hey, Selen, just wait a bit. Let us talk to our legal team and get this shit sorted out so that you can then publicly publish it. But to me, I feel like the, the feel, the vibe that I get reading this is like, they never had any intentions to get authorizations. They're nitpicking for whatever reason. And they're like, no. Even if we're going to tell you that the authorizations and stuff is going to be requested, it was never going to be released. So I feel like out of desperation, she reached out and basically had other people publish it on her behalf, right? And at the same time, the reasoning was clearly explained to Selen Tatsuki. However, Selen took to social media, specifically Twitter. I'm not calling it. Oh my God, this is Highness, bro. I can't believe they fucking call it X right here. I know it's called X, but this is disgusting. X making misleading statements that omitted essential context. Notably, mismanagement has privated the song. Furthermore, Selen Tatsuki's post includes a statement encouraging third parties to re-upload the music, yeah. which breaches any color's guidelines for... Now, this part, like, if it actually breaches any color's guidelines for secondary creation, these actions led to various misunderstandings that damage reputation. Anyway, it's, it's like... Maybe... I, like if, if this is actually in writing that you can never actually do this and that if the content that's supposed to be representing, you know, Niji Sanji and their talent is not supposed to be published by third party creators and other people, I totally get it. But at the same time, can't you understand that like she spent fucking 15K of her own money to fucking make this song out of blood and passion and tears. It's all poured in. And once it's fucking up, the company's like, nope, fuck you, private it. Like, I would feel so fucking annoyed. I would absolutely do the same thing. For secondary creation. These actions led to various misunderstandings that damaged the reputation of both Any Color and Niji EN. I'm gonna stop right here for a while, Chief. That last statement is an absolute hogwash. This okay. did not lead to a damaged reputation with Any Color and Niji I feel like the only thing that's, again, damaging reputation of Any Color and Niji Sanji is their fucking behavior right now. Like, you guys... Like, Selen releasing that video or, like, having other people publish it. Like, this is all because of your dumbassery. And you guys keep blocking the talent from doing shit. So they act out like this. And then you punish them. It makes you look even worse. Gen, your reputation was already in the fucking shitter to begin with, bro. This mm -hmm. just made it worse. Yeah, sure. But from that aside, yes, I do agree that Selen did jump the gun here, it seems like. And it may have... In and, like, yeah, m maybe, like, we can't deny that if there is... If what she did is a breach of violations. Yeah, I, I get that. Jumping the gun, yeah, she might have done that. But I feel like 
There's got to be some level of flexibility and nuance that we can talk about. Eventually they throw in shade at Niji Sanji, but that's for reasons we'll get into later. In an effort to calm the situation, we sought to either publicly disclose the reasons or have, Sele or have Selen disclose them herself, while being mindful of Selen's physical and mental health. Management did their best to communicate with not only Selen Tatsuki herself, Cap. but also her emergency contact. However, I don't despite this frequent shit. communication with Selen's contact, while remaining considerate of the situation. Wow, they really- I feel like this is such bullshit. Obviously, this is so biased because this is a statement from the corporation. I doubt that it went like this, man. I emphasize that they were wary. I wonder why. We were unable to come to an agreement on how to proceed. The decision was made to temporarily remove her access to her accounts. So the rats that Selena was forced out of her accounts were true. After attempting to address the aforementioned situation and communication with the legal counsel representing Selene, we conveyed the necessity for Selene to inform the public behind the reasons to make the music video private. Additionally, we expressed... You know, I, I would have fucking just lashed it. I'd be like, yeah, this dumbass fucking org that won't even fucking fund my project that I did with my own fucking money is now blocking it. Great, thanks guys. To Selene, our expectations of future compliance. Brother, why didn't you do it? Why did why did Good you point. need Salen to do it? Good point. Yeah, sure. Salen doing it would have calmed the fires, but even if you did, it would have still calmed some fires. You gambled on the fact that to save your that to save face, you need her to be puppeted. You need her to be doing the things that you want her to save. Basically, they don't want to do it. They want their own fucking talents to admit their wrongs and then do it themselves. It's so fucked. To say to save your asses instead of doing it yourselves. There's this meme in 4chan and in Twitter where okay. basically. Salen was just blankly reading out an announcement. Honestly, I wouldn't doubt it. It's kind of like the fucking CCP holding a gun to, you know, fucking other like Chinese billionaires that gets taken away and suddenly you don't see them anymore. And they come back like Jack Ma and they release a fucking statement saying, I was wrong. I was mentally ill. I've gotten rehab. I'm good to go now. Sorry for all the problems. But they're literally reading off a fucking script with a gun to the back of their head. About why... Um, cert a certain stuff did not happen because she overlooked some issues and that was obviously fucking the GEN on Selen's ass telling her, forcing her probably to speak it and Selen obviously did not want to speak it. This is basically them doing it, uh, trying to do it again, but failing. Anyway, despite our efforts, Selen Tatsuki demanded that any color should be held legally responsible. Now this is a mm. bold move from Selen. Mm. You sure you want to do this? Well... In, ta in terms of, like, maybe she has all the rights to, but, like, damn, to, like, demand any color should be held legally responsible, couldn't go to court with, like, this billion-dollar company, ah, it's, it's kind of scary, right, as an individual? Why. She claimed that she was no longer able to engage in her activities as a liver due to decisions made by any color. True. She was being harassed by other livers due to mismanagement. What? She was harassed by other affiliated livers due to mismanagement? So other talents... Perhaps the Niji Sanji were also shitting on Selen for- I, Really? While refusing to acknowledge responsibility for violating activity rules. Moreover, Selen insisted that if the negotiations did not progress, she would release a statement regarding claims to the public. Bro, this is a very concerning, um, like, statement over here. Harassed by other livers? Yeah, other oh, livers? Man. Who? And it Yo, the drama's not over! Like... <laughs> Cause, like, a twitlonger could come out exposing, like... Other livers and how they were fucking licking the boots of Corpo Niji and like, I don't know if, cause like, I think nobody thinks that any color or Niji Sanji is in the right situation. I think a lot of people are voicing their support through Selen the most, right? But if it comes to light that other talents that other livers within Niji Sanji that are reputable or quite well known kind of shit on this girl, I feel like that is... Such a, uh, a, 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 that's a Pandora's box waiting to be opened. Color believes that the claim raised by Selene are in fact referring to the situations that arose when she was warned about for her breaches of rules and attempt to shift the responsibility of these violations, damaging any colors and DGEN's image. This led to the deterioration of the relationship between her, this led to the deterioration of the relationship between her and any color and other livers affiliated with any color. Any color firmly believes that we and other livers under our affiliation have not engaged in unjust practices towards. Well, of course you're gonna say that, because this is a public statement from the company. What are they gonna say that we fucked her up? Of course, then they're gonna paint themselves in the best way possible. Selen. Basically, any color says that whatever happened to Selene, the talents and management was not responsible. Considering no, of course the they're gonna say that. To our company's reputation and threat to ongoing activities to other livers, we regrettably concluded that the termination of our affiliated contract with Selene was unavoidable. Unavoidable? That's the one thing I do agree, considering this fucking black company and how they treat their man their talents. Like, this is 
Like, look, 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 look. If this happened like a single time, then it'd be like, okay, this is an outlier case. Maybe they truly were bad for the company. Maybe they truly were not um, respecting whatever um, legal rules going around. Then they just were, it's just a bad fit for the company. But if multiple people, and not just terminations, people either getting poached, people saying they're graduating due to other concerns, but these concerns probably relating from the root cause, which is that this company just refuses to develop their talents properly. They have a shotgun approach. They just throw people out there. If they perform well, then great. If they don't, fuck you. We, don't, we won't fund you with any projects. We'll cancel everything. I just feel like at the end of the day, the only thing unavoidable, right, was the talents leaving because of the way that the company is operating. Since becoming a part of Niji EN in July 2021, Selena has undeniably played a significant role. We fully understand that our decision to terminate the contract will have a significant impact on our fans and supporters of Niji EN. Basically, they have you seen the recent tweets from, you know, the official Niji Sanji account? I feel bad for the social media person, but every time they tweet something like there is like a tweet where they fucking immediately just released merch. And, and the meme caption, someone quote retweeted it. And someone said like, sir, the peasants are revolting. And then Niji Sanji is like, then release the merch. And they're already fucking just dropping merch. And it's so fucked up. And all the responses to those tweets are like, bro, her body's not even cold yet. Are you serious? You have no fucking, um, you just have no awareness. And even not just like other small random Twitter accounts, but like other VTubers and other established creators also are kind of dogpiling it, which is kind of, Good to see. It's, it's nice to see that people are finally like banding and uniting together and trying to like at least try to do some kind of boycott action, try to hold this company responsible for their actions. Will they ever do it? I'm not sure. Will these tweets ever amount to anything? I'm not sure. I just want to click on and refresh the page and see them shit talking because it's funny to me when, I, when a fucking Twitter account with 30 followers starts to ratio this mega corp. They know that a lot of people are going to boycott them. However, ensuring responsible content creation through adherence to activity rules is fundamental to our mission. It is with deep regret that we must part ways as we could not reach an agreement. Cap, deep regret my ass. On our points of view. However, we would like to ask for the understanding of the circumstances that led to this decision. As of today, February 5th of 2024, Selen's activities will cease and everything will be privated. Obsidia will continue their activities with Rosemi and Petra. Thank you. Any color. That's fucked up. This. I don't like the implications that these posts Im like show. I don't also like the fact that these posts paint themselves as blameless. They literally imply that they did no harm Of here. course, right? Because like, and yes, they're never going to accept that they did any wrong because that just opens up themselves up for legal issues, right? And of course, for public image and branding too, why would you ever accept any wrongdoing, right? So it makes sense that they would paint themselves like this, but it's also very shitty. And like, Selene can't say anything. Like, there's, like, legal contracts, right? Like, I'm, I'm sure she's on her... What's the other account? I don't want to... Everybody fucking knows about her other account, but you've seen other people kind of come out with these statements, and, you know, whenever, whenever you start talking about confidential information and, and stuff that's classified, that's, that you've signed, like, whatever legal matters to never disclose, and you start talking shit, it's just... It just feels so unfair how the company can just, like, antagonize you. And frame you in such a bad light and try to shit on you like this through these public statements. But you, the talent, can't really talk back because of these illegal rights. But at the very least, the public perception to this uh, problem is pretty good. And I think everybody is supporting Selene and not the corp. And management says, no, you're not. They literally deny that it happened, bro. Knowing Niji Sanji, that's 100% not a complete truth. Holy shit. And you know what that thing that Selene did that triggered this certain action from... Isn't that the music video thing? Niji Sanji, that got them to be careful, that got the 15K? them wary, that got them concerned. Well, Selene tried to kill herself. Jesus Christ, I will not be silenced anymore. On December, I was hospitalized for an attempt that was caused by my built up of bullying from within and being in a toxic and poor environment for numerous months that led to my breaking point. I requested to leave, but on, for, but on more neutral terms on 26th of January. Again, I think one of the things that I never understood was that it's built from bullying from within and being in a toxic poor environment. I feel like the toxic poor environment is like the management, right? And like the way that they're treating her and like not supporting her. But like the bullying, this, doesn't this tie back to like the thing about how other livers, other talents were kind of shitting on her? Or at least harm herself for bullying. Again, apparently from other livers, livers and yeah. from management itself. That's insane. Being in a poor and toxic environment for numerous months. That That's two parts to it. Breaking point. That's what she said. She was getting bullied. She was saying that she was getting bullied. She tried to do something to herself because she was being bullied. 
And management says, no, you're not. They literally deny that it happened, bro. Shitty company, they'll never acknowledge it. Even if it is happening, it's in their best interest to never acknowledge it. I get that, but it's still shitty. Now, I would like you to rewind it. Rewind this video, read the statement again. But with the added context that Selene you read was it hospitalized me. because she attempted to harm herself because of the agency. Now, a lot of the details we don't know. We, I don't know if Doki Bird, aka Salon's PL, is going to address it, but probably not because I think she'd want to forget about everything and move on to the future. She says that she's gonna come back to her PL and will celebrate her Chinese. She already has, like, I think over like 250k subs, right? So she's fucking popping off. I'm sure she's gonna be better. Honestly, this whole termination thing, it sucks about what happened to her, but honestly, it's probably for her better. Right? Because, like, now you're free from the shackles of this black company that won't even fucking support you. You're now going back to your PL. You can do your own thing as an indie, and you're getting more support than ever due to this event happening. I think while the situation does suck, I think she can pivot this into a W. It's New Year, as it's an important cultural part of her life. It should be the start of happiness and the new beginnings, she says. And if you want my stances on things, chat, I am fully on Selen's side here. I can understand that Selen have actually done some things that Niji EN stated here. I can understand that Niji EN has a good reason that they've rationalized to terminate her. And it's probably the best kind of reason because Selen refused to cooperate anymore due to toxic and workplace and the bullying. And Niji EN can't work with her anymore due to her apparently being difficult to work with. This is kind of understandable in terms of business. But I've seen too much how Niji Sanji operates and how they treat other talents like shit. Exactly. Again, if one case happening like Zion is like an outlier, then what about two, right? One thing happening is just a point on a graph. But once you start to get other graduations, other terminations that root from the same issue of the company being at fault at the core of not being able to handle the, manage handle the talents correctly, now there's multiple dots in the graph, graph, right? This is no longer a point. We are literally creating a line, a line that points to a pattern of behavior. That maybe that everything that people talk about Niji Sanji being a black company, about how they don't know how to, you know, grow their talents and how they abuse their talents. Maybe this is true. I'm just saying. I've made countless videos, heard so much th things. And overall, there is no reason for me to support Niji EN's management in this instance. Even if I do take this fucking PR statement at face value. Now, here's the interesting thing. A lot of people are going to start saying boycott Niji Sanji and blah, blah, blah. And I'm not sure if you're aware of this, but Genshin Impact recently had a huge wave of drama that surrounds around their poor... No, I'm not talking about the tech tone and Atsu and all the other MVS, that the bullshit going off the content creators. I'm talking about how the game is giving you such shitty rewards and people are wanting to revolt and saying, let's boycott Genshin. Let's do it. You know, stop paying. And while they did make a lot of videos and a lot of a noise on Twitter, as soon as the Shan Yun and Nahida banner came out, you know what happened? That banner became first place in revenue immediately. So it's like, fuck. I guess we do live in a little echo chamber and our bubble doesn't really matter at the grand scheme of things, right? So with this recent event going on, do you think that people will actually say Niji Sanji is a black company and they'll actually boycott and do you think the corp will die? Or do you think the Niji Sanji will get away with it? And just continue posting merch links and everyone will forget this even happened in three months. It's funny because for 2024, I was rooting for Niji EN's redemption arc. Really? Yes, 2024. I thought that most of his videos like the downfall of Niji Sanji, the end of Niji Sanji. For them is starting the same way 2023 okay. started. Now, I don't care about your fucking silly PL privacy mumbo jumbo wa ba humbug. This is Selen's PL. This is a bit different. I feel like this is a situation where everybody should be aware of her PL and kind of like support her because of the bullshit that happened. And she's getting a lot of support on YouTube. Please it's follow her and please don't send any harassment or death threats to any of the livers. Um, although it may, it's implied, well, not really implied anymore. It's kind of stated. It's just better not to pull a Tom Howard and just blindly like, you know, throw shade at people, fucking send death threats, you know, discourage their activities, all that kind of stuff. I w I'm looking forward to the things Doki Bird will create, but okay. I'm not sure how Niji EN will hold up going forward now. I mean, the month is just starting, and like I feel like more notices, more graduations may be coming up, man. This is I don't know if this is going to be a final yab for them, honestly, but hopefully... It's and even with the Selene situation, will they press forward with more tweets and more information about how she's breached and we're going to sue you and shit like that? It's going to be better for Doki Bird her content going forward, and for Selen, uh, and for Niji Sanji, I don't know, man. I don't know what to make of this for them. Yeah, that's really about it. See. 
just the start of the new year and so much drama within the VTuber space is happening. And again, I'm just an anime reaction channel. Sometimes I keep, you know, with the uh, trends of VTuber stuff. I just thought that this is a really interesting scenario going on. So I just wanted to cover it.